thought we'd make it out. Make it out. Cause we didn't take the safer route. Safer route. Now it's ownership and bank accounts. The beef with that cake about. Cake Young and black on that paper route. Paper they route. never thought we'd make it out. Ready, already, already, y'all. Welcome back. It's the Ricks and Hearts Podcast. It's your boy, Mike B. And today, we got a, 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 I'm gonna say special guest, but this is this is home, home, home. Uh, you know, it's playing field. Yes, sir. It's the Street TV family. Uh, uh, Mister, I'm fresh out the bl- the, the back box. Uh, Mister, facts over feelings. Kicking cack, being boo. Oh yeah, they ain't ready for that. Uh, uh, that's that new. That's that new way. Mister, most easty. Yes, sir. My boy Spider Log, what's the big old deal? Man, Munchie Bizzle, B Team Captain. What's happening, homie? I appreciate the invite to home. Oh yeah. Dig lies. But no, I appreciate the invite to that pack to the platform. You and Mariah been building, man. I've been watching. Even though they might see us in the same building, we don't occupy the same building at the same time. We've only been here at the same time once when I got an opportunity to interview you in Supervision. Shout out to Supervision. Yeah, shout out, bro. Yeah, but the invite to be here today, um, amongst all my invites I get recently, this one mean a lot, man. Salute to my partner. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, they gonna see a whole lot more of us. For sure, for my sure. Mama, mama. They go, they go, they gonna see a lot. Hold on, hold on. And before we get into everything, me and my boy. Oh yeah, shout out Mariah. Mariah, she having these credit chronic headaches. Mm. I'm like kick back, Mariah man. Miss Mariah got migraines. Yeah, yeah. Man. She be having them bad. Oh, Miss Mariah, massive migraines. I got this thing with consonants. Like, I think they call it alliteration. Like, you know how in MC. Are you call with words. Thank you, sir. But you just say, I put that together, Miss Mariah, massive migraine. Mm-hmm. Like, I just the M's. I just, <laughs> hey, shout out to Mariah. Get well soon, little mama. Oh, everything. She said, you and Spider's like some baby kids. I'm like, <laughs> man, nah, bro. I said, I got a little too faded. Last time, and you know, he 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 gave me a suggestion, like, man, you know, maybe you should go out the cup and throw some some ice in it, and you know what? I said, man, you're right. I'm yeah, a, I'm gonna pace myself. I want you guys to know if you go look at the last uh, episode that me and Munchie did in the black box, his level of energy was quite mm, uh, mm, mm, mm. correlated to the amount of liquor that was left in that vessel. So I think you know we pace ourselves. But you didn't, I'm, I'm gonna let you know this. Even though you um, did more than you wanted to do, you didn't get out of character, homie. You still remain G, homie. Man. You I, had a little much more more fun than you intended to have, but you didn't do nothing I, goofy or nothing, homie. I, oh, yeah. mama, mama, mama. Even but, when you mentioned CK Wack, I was not offended. On hold on, that wasn't on there, though. But, yeah, it was. That was on a phone conversation. No, that's what the phone conversation was like sparked about. Oh. Uh, yeah. Hey, man. I, yeah, yeah, but I'm just saying, just just so you know, none of that was offensive in the course of the conversation, the way it was brought up. Huh. That's why I said it so clearly and cleanly at the moment. You dig a lot? Don't get stuck on that because this is your interview. My uh, bad. Hey, 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 and I'm 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 gonna go back to that, but uh, yeah, <laughs> he he, su- he suggested. I'm like, yeah, I'm up, I'm out the cut from now. On. I usually do that when I'm over here anyway. But then Me I get too. the venturing out, and I get to grabbing a bottle, and I get to feeling myself a little too much. So I'm, uh, you know, I gotta keep it professional. But it's still a dual reason. Out. It's a dual reason. It's not really because of his behavior. I realize that the content has been age restricted every time he's been in the black box. On oh, everything. And first we thought it was because of the viral incident. Shout out to Tania. Shout out to Rini Lope. Um, but once this next episode hit the, um, got the age restrictions it was easy to realize the thing that they had in common was, was the, the bottle. bottle. Yeah. And they ain't even paying me. Shout out to Deer Juice, though. That shit was fire. It do get yeah. it done. Hey, hey, y'all need to pay. It. Yeah, put it, it on the table. Run it, because I held on to it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah. Tell, hey, if, if maybe, because you know what? Our production department has reached out to me at certain times and asked me about certain people we might want to go after for some type of ads or all that. Mm-hmm. Hey, two A's. You might want to tap that in. You hear me? Case of doors. Yeah, you feel me? Go on, go on, go on, tap in on, tap out. Yeah. But based on that, that that last uh black box, uh pull up. You know what I'm saying? When I pulled around there, messing with bro, I called Rennie Loke on my own time. I said I apologize. I said, man, he stopped something like no, 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 because man, I, I went a little to the, you know what I'm saying? But she, 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 she told me I, I ain't gotta keep apologizing and shit. But nah, you know, I, real... I apologize to to the Rennie Loke. You know what I'm saying? You know what I want to throw an apology to her too because just based on some of the things we discussed after all that uh, interaction, she came back on the platform 
And that's not, I'm not talking about when her and Tania was there. She came back on just on the live stream. Mm. And that the night that you're referring to, and we got real loose the way we addressed her. And she made me aware that she's really interested and invested in presenting a whole nother side of herself online, like we both are as well. And just because her name is Rennie Loke and we know her for dead homies, dead homies, it's a lot more to her. She's a mother and she's just trying to like clean up the way she presents herself online. And she didn't like some of the questions, the statements we made toward her direction. So I want to apologize to her too. Hey, but see, what well, people got to understand, uh, especially when you're a comedian, it'd be kind of hard to, uh, uh, maybe for you to turn it on and off, but when, when the people that's, that's like fans of you are watching from the outside looking in, when they addressing you or whatever, they still looking at you like you in performance mode, entertainment mode, you know what I'm saying? And so, when, on that note, when I heard you discuss this off camera, you said that her type of humor and your... Um, opinion is dark so dark even, humor, even right. more so we would think that she would have a a perspective of oh they just fucking with me but i want i'm here to let you know that there's levels and layers to things and there's also levels and layers to the comedian Rini Lope, and she didn't appreciate some of the energy and i just want to respect that on her behalf and let her speak for herself even as a comedian from this point forward i'm gonna watch more of her direction and when i address her i'm gonna try to be in line with that I'm, I'm gonna give her that respect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to. You still the homegirl though, so you know how this shit go to some degree. But I do feel where you coming from. Shout out to Lady Lock from Santana, cause we kind of I was at, at a round table and the perspective was just shared. Lock lock. Yeah, lock lock to the homegirl. Hey, but see, I, I, I haven't watched uh, Rick Rock content. I'm gonna tap I spoke in. Spoke to Rick Rock this morning too. Shout out to Rick Rock. Oh, he crispy clean. I'm, I'm gonna tap in, but see, but, but when it be these, these street people that become comedians and like you could easily offend them. You right. You know what I'm saying? Faison Love has been walking that fine line a couple of times I saw. Shout out to Faison Love. Um, but yeah, it happens. It happens, yeah. But as far as me, I'm, see. Bosco. See, My whole see. relationship with Bosco was tested for years before we became partners based on him being a gangster comedian and playing with somebody else that the world considers a gangster. And it's I remember my first when it, when it first started going bad, I tapped into Fig Newton. I'm like, hey, you fuck with Bosco? And his response was like, yeah, that's the homie. And then when I got him about what my issue was, he was like, oh, you know, that's what he do. He get at everybody. And it was like, damn, that's ain't how it's going to go in the yard. If I was hitting laps, walking past the Don Moves, can't. I would have to have a relationship with a nigga if he finna shoot across to me walking laps and crack a joke on me. Right or wrong? Once you hit the hit the yard, you, you're not a comedian no more. You gotta leave that till you get back to R&R &R and you getting released again. So that's the difference. But no, niggas shoot jokes on the yard. You got your funny nigga. Shout out to Rory from Kelly Park. If y'all good like that. But though. that's what I'm saying. But I'm talking about exactly. But that's how Dom, me and Bosco basically met online, him shooting jokes at me. That's why it was hard for me to accept to a certain degree after he kept going. We over it, I'm not trying to rehatch it, but comedians, I'm just trying to make the point that comedians that live, that are from the culture, they walk a fine line. You you are definitely correct, I agree with you. Hey, but see, man, as far as me, I could take a joke, because I'm from a hood, you come, I don't care if you Dougie Fresh from head to toe, they, they always gonna find something so, wrong with you. Something to bag up. Like, damn. East side, that's East Side so, shit so too. So, I, I, I could take a joke, long as you ain't talking, don't call me Zesty. Cause I I I uh I witnessed he he was talking to uh D Dub uh, D Dub and he was telling shout out to the homie he said they resolved that right he said, I didn't call you gay I called you zesty and then D Dub was like what's the difference what's the I difference Bosco we, yeah so yeah, so that. <laughs> that's the same to me bro it is I, as long but as that's, it ain't, that's that's still him being a comedian yeah but I'm playing but, it all the way out I, I'm gonna laugh back or shoot a joke back at anything except for uh gay jokes and uh snitching you know what I'm saying outside of that I could take it I'm cool. Right. No, I, I, I mean, I'm everybody had a perimeter. I think a lot of times it's less in the details and more in the energy and the intention. It's kind of like when the females in the bitch word. You feel me? Uh, it's one thing to say, get your ass up, bitch, and go, let's go get a drink. Mm -hmm. It's another thing to say, bitch, I don't fuck with you, dirty bitch. It's like, it's just a whole nother connotation. You know what I'm saying? Even with um, you hearing one of us say, nah, nigga, I ain't going for that. And then you hear somebody of another pigmentation say, nah, nigga, I ain't going for that. Hmm. 
You feel me? Just the intention behind words, I think a lot of time a lot more important than the word itself. Because nowadays I see even creeping into the solid culture where homies just talk to each other like, oh, bitch ass nigga. And I, I gotta be honest, even my best friends, rest in peace, Puto. That's how he got the name Puto. You know, that's the most disrespectful name you could call a motherfucker in Spanish. Rest in peace to him. GIP to the homie, rest man. We get the him and, 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 top. And, I, and, 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 and I send my condolences to his family. Appreciate man. you. Thank you. And uh, so, you know, I, we know when you really, we used to, in my circle, we used to tell each other, fuck you often on purpose because when, when we used to tell each other, you know, when we out in public, you can't just run around telling nigga I love you all the time. So it's so, a form of endearment. There you go. Yeah, bitch, yo, woo, even when yo, even though you know it's the most disrespectful thing you can say to your closest partners, you'll say, man, nah, you a bitch ass nigga. You would just, you would just say that just out of, you know, a, as a term of endearment. Yeah. I, 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 I witnessed the, the, the uh, the shut up, big all the, the the bitch game and and I, I I stand quiet and I let them do it because I ain't trying to I, I'm not entering that uh the rim rim of things I'm, I'm cool off that shit you know what I'm saying all the way around the board yeah, yeah, yeah I don't want to play like that I know this like you go to prison the up north dudes do that a lot Bay Area is true Sacramento and all that and then down it, south I, too definitely outside of prison but yeah, go ahead yeah I heard BG and all, how, but I, they they it's so incorporated in so many down south cultures that it's not even offensive when you hear them say it, it's not offensive at all because some down south people talk exactly like this hey man I'm go to the club that bitch gonna be cracking I bring my beam out. We gonna get in that bitch, Mike. It's gonna be bitch out there, Mike. Come on, baby. Get your bitch ass up, baby. Go that motherfucker, Mike. I got a big, big, big blow up, Mike. We gonna have that bitch, but that bitch gonna rock, Mike. Hey, bitches, everything is bitch. Hey, everything. See, back to intentions. When you say intentions, right? That's why I believe get on the line and get a face to face because that text, you could never know how somebody coming through text. Text it though, I mean, so often. You, 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 you never know. And, and I, you really just get a face to face, or 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 even a uh, okay. Let's go back to Beezy. Ah, the first time, I don't, I don't, I don't want to holler in front of cameras trying to resolve anything because then you feel like you gotta have some bravado. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. do you, like, do you think bravado played into the initial incident that went vi viral, based on the? No, no, no. Well, me or something. Based on the fact that it was cameras. Shout out to Boss Mac podcast. Shout out to Boss Mac, and man. Santana Beasy. And you need to tap in and, and we need some more Boss Mac, you know what I'm saying? No, nah, more. I need one oh, or yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. Can that's, I get in the game? SPI ain't got, but me and Mariah was laced. We got oh, the picture. Go, see that? Go, everybody go check out my Instagram. But yeah, SPI I waiting on here. For the record, though, Beasy, I don't know if you've been looking for these. I don't know if they really not. I don't know if I'm catching a black eye or a fly <laughs> eye. But you left these in the black box, my nigga. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Hey, and anybody show me some merch, bro. You ain't got to. You stereotype me. Everything I gotta be red, man. Come on, bro. And, and we do we do not look like twins intentionally. Oh we? no. When we met today at work, it was like, damn, this nigga. We dressed alike, so I guess it was just in the in the in the universe and the stars. But it wasn't with me. It was it was, ir it was irritable. I was I was kind of irritable because I I asked him uh not not to uh, refer to me a certain way, and he was like he was cool with it. And then he turned around and did it again, like in it. In it you know what I'm saying? But it could have. And then, and then so like earlier when you asked him, he said, "All right, I got you." Yeah. Mm. But and but but see, I, I talked to a couple people. You, my my uncle, a cartoon. Shout out Double Up One Nine Seven for that. Yup, yup. Shout out, shout out Big Dub. Shout out Cartoon Five Three. And I cartoon. said, uh, you no, know I mean moving forward, you know, because because that 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 mentality in front of the camera ain't gonna do me no well. You know what I'm saying? So I ignore it. You know what I'm saying? But I was, I'm just trained a certain way, and that's just that's just how I am, bro. On the wake up, you no, know what I mean, I, I get it. I know your training. You know, I'm tapped in and all that. I get it, but I still think that what you just said is the conclusion best drawn, and that's what I told you from the jump. And when we first talked, like you said, you came to that conclusion, but then you sat back and you became Munchie B again mentally, and you went through weeks and months of thinking about it, and just recently you invited BZ, which I thought was a big step to come to uh, kicking cack being bull. BZ, you ain't responded. I tagged you. What it do? I sent it to you, my nigga. We need you on the platform, man. If you can't make it this week, let's get it next week. Oh my mama, mama. Hey, but but I and also, bro, I got a daughter that's seventeen. I didn't want her to see that. You feel me? I rather I rather her has seen because it was a laughable moment with me. I rather have seen 
her seeing Randy Luck and Tania and not me flying. <laughs> You Don't act me? like she didn't see that nigga. No, nah, she seen it. She texted you the next day. She was like, you, you, you all right, old man? I put LOL. What you talking about? I already knew what she was talking about, though. But you know what I mean? The, I don't cook, but uh, the cuz, they ain't, but you know, I didn't I didn't really want her. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I mean, I ain't cool. Because I, I be trying to smash on her, making yeah, sure she on her. On it the, ain't that deep. It ain't that deep, y'all. Right. Shout out to DW Flame and Brick Baby. Even with the, the big hoopla over that. Hey, hold, that the, hold that right there. Because right. the thing with that, Based on when people put stuff on the internet, you giving everybody a shot to give them their opinion and all that. I always go just scratch the surface and then kind of put put it in your lap. You know what I mean? Because for one, you from neighborhood. For one, for two, you a crib, and for for three, I be trying to be like play. Uh, I be trying to be kind of like politically correct. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna just scratch the surface and. Uh, not be so opinionated. I didn't, mean to, I didn't mean to get ahead of the interview. My bad. No, 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 no. That's a. But that I just. I, that's just how I'm, how I'm gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do but, your shit. Do but, your shit. But but uh, all right. And it's funny you bring up brick baby because this is the reason why I'm about to ask you your opinion on this. Because back, you older than me, but it's still the same. Mm -hmm. well, all right, no, no, no. It ain't about age. All right, pretty internet. Pretty internet, if you the face of your hood, I think of people like Dulo from NHP, mm. uh, maybe Keita Rock from 60s, mm. uh, Monster from H.A. Gangster, mm -hmm. uh, B. Brazy from, from, from Devin Lane's. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I'm Snoop like. From, Snoop from East Coast, 6 9 was the face of the cell back when they was doing their shit with the rap. There you go there. Mm -hmm. So you got. Like that, those are the faces. So these Mac days, Mac Ten had it for the Queen. Cause we wouldn't even know who they was. Oh, he had it for the city of Inglewood. Dog had it for the whole Long Beach. I get your point. Okay, yep. All right, and it's pre-internet. Correct. So, so these days, if 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 somebody be like, I'm the face of my hood, what do that what do that uh, entail? Okay, I so, think because having the face of the hood, there really no hood really had no face. You had the G homie like. In my hood, historically, before internet, way before internet, you know, nine seven Crip first thing come to mind was J Box, Merc, couple names, but J Box, you really from nine seven Crip, so that's that. That's the face of the hood. To that degree, it's different. Dell Dog being the face of the main streets, it's that's a different thing than what Brick Baby saying. Brick Baby is talking in the age of media. Mm -hmm. I'm the one over there with the most visibility. That's like what he's saying because Nipsey was the face of the 60s in that sense but I can't say Nipsey was ever the face of the 60s like Del Dog was the face of the main streets or how Gangster has known to be the face of the Santanas at certain times before media These oh, and that's are, now that was another example I about to say Turtle or, or like Turtle even right. more so than Gangster. how Turtle was synonymous with the face of the Tanners mm -hmm. Nipsey was the face of the 60s merge with entertainment and media, not just based on street activities only. So, so nowadays, when somebody say, I'm the face, I'm the face, I'm the face of the hood, you you basically you you and everybody faces you I mean, it's internet or, or media. Be, levels and layers. That's a that's another um podcast that I'm developing with a female constituent. And I, I love that phrase because I think there's levels and layers. You can still be the face of a set and never touch a camera, which is the traditional way. However, with media being at the forefront of everybody's existence, you can also be the face and be representative and still, you know, if you're really from a real section, you're gonna have to be tapped in with the actual face, but you can like Brick Baby, claim to be the face of because you are tapped in with the people that make the shit go round and you are the one that everybody, because to a certain degree, I humbly, humbly, humbly accept, understand, and acknowledge I'm the face of the set, but I don't even gang bang. I try to get on these media platforms and separate myself from the set. And when I say the set, I mean all of them, not just the 90s, but you know what I've experienced? What's that? All the reptables tap in with me with all the issues that they feel are pertinent or important to the set. If they want to make any public expression, they process it through me. So I'm not out here claiming to be the face of the set, but if you look through media or entertainment for the last 10, 15, 20 years, what else have we actually presented? Shout out to Zoe, to the homie came around. 
Shout out to Ryan. We've been people in behind the scenes more so that, that y'all even know. But outside of that, I have to accept that without even claiming it. You feel me? So Brick Baby might be more in front of. Now you been the f I'm glad you brought this up because you the face of your section without media. But had you got your same self in the position you're in now, creating content and got the same buzz you have, you would still be the face if you didn't have your you feel me, your actual resume to rely on. You would still be the face if you were a mascot. Like C Mac was the face of the five fives, but we know he's not the politicker in the five fives. We know he don't call Nash shot, but he was the face. All right, so I bet I put that in a decent perspective now, more so than what you was thinking. C-Mac was the best example. I could have just did it with that. He's the face of the Fly Fives. Brick, Brick Baby did an interview with, I believe, Cam Capone. And and I think if he if given a chance again, he would reword it. Because I was confused. Like, okay. What was his wording? He said he was upset with YG. And he considered YG the face of the 60s because how strongly he messed with Nip. And because it, Nip passed, he and, became. And, and after and after Nip died, he still rep him. You know what I mean? But what that's highly offensive to people from Rolling Sixties to say a dude from Treetop is the face of the sixties, just because he messed with this one individual from sixties real heavily. He he might got other associates, but this this who he, you know what I'm saying? Mess with yeah, like that. I don't that. think a media re relationship can take precedent over the actual culture and structure. So you may be correct if that's exactly what Brick Baby said. Right. That may be one he feel like he would take back. But I've seen Tom Brady on Sunday and the commentator say, "Oh, that's one he'd take back if he had the chance." So mm -hmm. I ain't gonna hold the homie to no mother. That's why I said, yeah. I, I think but if he was able to, he took back. He, it might be one he'd take back. Right, 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 right. right. Cause I me, mean, me and uh, we, we, we talk more often. He was trying to make a point. Like, he was trying to make a point. Oh, go ahead, I'm, go ahead and land that. No, 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 no. That's no. important to the world. Yeah, we, no, me, me, we, me and him. People don't believe you know how to talk to six O's and have a cordial conversation behind the scenes. Oh, no, nah, That's nah, your nah, reputation. No, nah, no, nah, nah. hey, but see, they don't know going in and out of jail. You gotta uh, have, have a, uh, some type of, yeah, a you know dialogue, what I'm saying? rapport, respect. Yeah, you yeah. gotta, you better know how to communicate. Then you can't come at uh, the opposite sideways, or it's gonna, it's gonna go. And why we try to eliminate emotions out of most of our interactions is because we know we play, play a hmm. deadly game, y'all. And it, so when they get in them cages, the respect really gets immense because we accept a lot of these dangerous conditions when we sign up for this. So it's not like. A lot of the heartbreak that we suffer usually when we lose a loved one, it hurt. But the understanding of what's going on is so deep sometimes, the acceptance level is beyond the average citizens and civilians' mind. That's why I don't like to discuss a lot of these conversations with them, homie. Hmm. They don't really get it, bro. They can look at two niggas in the ring, UFC, with cauliflower hours, ears, bloody each other up, and then afterward they could hug, beat each other damn near to death, and they could hug and hold each other's hands up. But slightly darker, deep into that same element, they don't quite get it. Hey, like, okay, like when we were just talking about the don't cuss me situation, mm -hmm. that needed to happen. That was a teachable moment. You know what I mean? Everybody probably look at it like entertainment and like, uh, who who was right, who was wrong, who looked to tell. But no, that's that was a teachable moment. You know what I'm saying? To what degree? I agree, but why would you say that? Because because a lot of people that that never been nowhere, they don't know that like like you go places or. You you just don't cuss or blood the opposite or things like that or you know what I mean and and, 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 and no 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 some people stand stand strong on it and some people don't you right. know what I mean but it tell did. me this the most volatile decision made was made by whom oh uh, in that in that instant yes I, 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 me okay so you know everybody could have done better but if we all out here leaving our homes to go get money and try to build ourselves into positions to get more money. Mm. And that's why we coexistence. Even if you was irritated to the max, you you believed that and agreed next time you would handle it different. Even if you felt like he was 100% wrong in that moment, you would wait to do it slightly different. Again, it was a teachable moment and I learned. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's why I said. I'm and BZ, in I am interested to know if there was more than one lesson learned. Do you feel like there was any room for you have to have learned a lesson? And I want you to come and talk about this in the black box on Kicking Cack Being Boo 
new podcast launch by me and my comrade Munchie B. We just getting started, y'all. We got a whole lot to do. Everybody uh, stay tuned on that. We about to be lit on that. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. He, he going to put up like Huggies and we going we go, we go to get, go get it straight on yeah. everything. He's going to talk about it. But but that that right there is one teachable moment. And then like you brought up earlier, you got DW and you got uh, Brick. Brick. You know what I'm saying? I'm so glad you connecting these y'all. There's no script to this motherfucking interview. No, nah, no, no. We let it, we let it fly, and, right? Yeah, and I had tried to connect these incidents, and there's another one I connected. I'm gonna see if you naturally bring it up, but I brought it up to my panel, and I forget who was on the screen. Oh, shout out to uh, King Twy from Twenties. It was him on the screen, and he didn't really catch my connection. So I see a direct connection between mm -hmm. these two incidents. But go ahead. All right. One, 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 one thing. I, I noticed because it's a gang of different uh the people that a lot of people just want attention want to be heard so they go come negative anyway mm -hmm. but but some people that's just how they is you know what i mean that's just that's their temperament you know what i'm saying Indeed. so i respect it because you just being you you know what i'm saying right right so i'm like okay i i, I i'm watching runner on youtube i'm like he, he 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 being him you know what i'm saying he feels strongly Shout that, baby runner. That, that, that's what he representing he been you know what i'm saying and then if if it wasn't on the platform it was on, or the people that was in front of the camera would it have been a big deal still? What what what? Oh, or oh, the okay. D Dub and all that. He, he referred no, to, to the it, cigarette no, as, no. A, as a as a as a let me tell you something. Term. The camera and the microphone mm -hmm. and the platform and all that is it exactly what it's about. You know, as well as I know, mm -hmm. everybody that spoke on it know how casual that interaction would have been anywhere if it wasn't on camera. If you was in the club sitting next to him on the VIP's couch and he tapped you, you talking to a broad over here and he say that, did I promise you, y'all want to mark Brick Baby out in that moment, but without Brick Baby trying to respect everything, in casual conversation, Brick Baby got a slick tongue he would have just smiled at his homie and said, oh, here you go, Tramp. And that would have been the end of it. Mm -hmm. I keep saying that like it would be my reaction, but that's really Brick Baby, natural reaction. If it ain't lights, camera, ooh, I'm just trying to be professional. Brick Baby is not no bite my tongue ass nigga with his friend. Your friend just did a, gave you a freebie. Brick Baby is gonna hit you back with the, I'm not mad. Here you go, Tramp. I promise you, that's his natural reaction. We got caught up in him trying to do his best to, and I know, shout out to Spotty Face and Baby Runner, because he used the phrase, sweep it under the rug. And the homies picked that phrase apart so bad, obviously that was the wrong phrase to use. I think more so what he was trying to say is, he was hoping deep down, which he said, that it wasn't caught on the camera, because if they was off camera, I would have shit it back on him. I just wish he would have said what I suggested. Hmm. I wish he would have threw the T word back at him, laughed it off, and made it even. That's what all I wish. And I think we wouldn't have had this moment that we had to all experience. See. What more could he have done outside of that in your suggestion? I I I, I got good, I got snappy comebacks, you know what I'm saying? But so we on but, the same page. But, but but I don't smoke weed, I don't drink lean, pop perks, or none of that shit. So Nigga be on a slow response sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Right. So he, he caught it late. But the thing is, the fool apologized, bro. And he and he wasn't trying to be uh disrespectful. But so you know what I'm you, saying? So so you hear the um the homies that still don't like it. Mm -hmm. Are you thinking they suggesting Brick was supposed to say at least even while he's apologizing, say, man, watch that shit? Is that what they saying? Cause when I say at least say the T word, I don't know if that's the magic answer. What what other thing could he have done other than just saying, oh, I ain't tripping because I hear you apologizing and it ain't no, we on TV, we trying to do this work. What else could he do, do, have done to satisfy these people who said he should have done something other else? Let's go back to the face. So <clears throat> you got the biggest voice as far as, you know what I'm saying, Rolando. Rolling nose, neighbor, whatever. You, 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 on, you on everybody's screen every day. So they expect you to represent it right. So in that instant, it didn't look good. You know what I'm saying? Correct. Although, so they, they, I don't know, they just, like, damn, they feel like 
if if he looks stupid, they look stupid. You know what I'm saying? So I understand them, but but if they all this is what I this is my only disconnect I, in the conversation. Mm -hmm. They seemingly accept DW's apology. Mm -hmm. I do. I did. But they don't want Brick Baby to accept that same apology that was given directly to him. That's the part. No, they just didn't like his response. And then it, but like, look, like, bro, that, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying you, to say. But you, I'm but not you trying to rapper, rapper. You freestyle. You. But I'm not trying to say nobody from they cripping, bro. If I would have got caught on camera mm -hmm. in the same instant, I would have responded exactly the same, or I would have said something slick back. There would have been no anger. No defense of the car. I wouldn't have took it like he was really dissing the car. I would have either been comedic about it or I would have been cool about it. Either or. I got to I gotta say that on Cuz's behalf. I would have not pressed Cuz. I would not have raised up, roared up, especially, especially based on the relationship that they already got. It's all kind of speculation about if DW Flame even said that intentionally to even... I don't oh, think he did. I don't either. I but, but they add all that in to try to put the pressure on Brick to have come up with a different response. And I think his hands was tied. They keep trying to make, if he call himself shitty, he file to try to let you know how shitty he really can get. So when he go Brick Baby and try to be Brick Baby, then he file because he's not being a shitty ass nigga. I think he has to more focus on what he wants to do in the future and stop giving a fuck about what everybody else is saying. Huh. That was a real organic moment. Hmm. I, I could challenge a million niggas to sit right there and deal with DW Flame, big old young ass, and act like you gonna act different. If, and it's not, to me, in my opinion, a mystery or ironic that it's the 40s that have a particular issue. You know what I mean? Neighbors it is, it's not speaking on it. There was one right there on the platform. So I've even witnessed conversations about this that didn't take place on cameras. And I just tend to believe that there are a whole lot of under other issues that create that tension between Brick Baby and the the 40 members. Shout out to all the homies though. Nightbook. Hey, yeah, shout out to all them. <laughs> hey, hey, no, 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 for real. But the, I'm like, then that shit carrying on. Up, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, yeah. they, they have That's why you, you have to assume it's a lot more than that moment. Hmm. Huh. And if it wasn't more than that moment that got them interested in it, once they get interested in it, it's more than that moment playing a part in how long it's lasting and all that. Okay. And I'm going to say if I, I'm right with my segue with you, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. For the viewers, listeners, out here, it, it's broken into a fraction. It's either you 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 a naysayer, you mess with the nays, or you don't mess with the neighborhoods. It's, it's, it was broken in a fraction. The eight trays in the 60s messed that up a long time ago. Mm. Okay. Or you got bopped in and Compton. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's like, it's split in half. Now, what I don't agree with, that's how them insanes talk on a regular. That's they, that's they vernacular. That's how they talk. Mm. Because it ain't no neighborhood, 60s, 40s, all that in, in Long Beach. That means nothing. Mm. Now, when I say it's a fraction... The rolling 20s, they carrying themselves like neighborhood crips these days. Mm -hmm. People could say what they want and try to make it sound like they want. I've witnessed this. This this, mm -hmm. this is what I witnessed. This this me being in county jail and church, and I look back, cornbread from 20 crib burning the back of my neck, but I ain't got time to worry about him because you're 15th in line. You're not even a priority. <laughs> I got real enemies here. You know what I'm saying? And right. he's not the only one. Uh, Psych from Treetop, he my witness, bro. We was in the trees, and and we pulled up. His, uh, 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 one of his little homies had a dude from Twenties over there, and Psych is D three manager for for everybody. So, and when the dude told me his name, is disrespectful. Got the three in it, and ooh, ooh, whatever. I'm like, all right, Munchie B. I'm from Families. But then when I hear it, it just rang neighborhood to me. And then he like his the way he was talking. And then I got to talking to him. And he said when he go to jail, he run with the neighborhoods. He, he like. They don't be stalling us out, talking about the mm. insanes and they heavy on the three, and you know what I'm saying? Because it's the that's crazy. And once again, that shows the power of words. Cause I think it has a lot less to do with the actual affiliation and just the way the names of the situation sound. And once you get caught up because they they rolling and they O's 
And then we know about the Hussein connection, but I I really didn't even realize that that was made because of the same energy. You was getting its history behind all that. You know, that shit didn't just fall out of nowhere. Hey, listen, I'm from Inglewood, bro. And if a if a Rolling 20 Crip or West Coast 80s, Long Beach, if they get caught in Inglewood, all the homies is really hearing is rolling. And we so ignorant to the rolling thing, it's going to be bad for them. You know what I'm saying? Mm, mm. And, and a lot of these hoods is yelling rolling. It was rolling 80 Inglewood families before they was rolling. Mm. The homies was rolling 80s. They still rolling? The older homies is you ain't gonna hear nobody young say rolling. It's just like we, <laughs> the homies just don't don't mess with it. But that's what it is. It's rolling eighties. That's you know crazy because me and Alex was having a conversation the other day where we was going just ironically accidentally on the phone and we was talking about how some of the hood names have evolved throughout the years. It was, we was really on some Compton se sections. But we talked about how the Harlem's used to push the O in front. Original Harlem. Yeah, but that's what the word was started. So we used to want the original swamps, the original front hoods, the original pocket hoods, and how the pocket hoods, he, he said corner pocket. I said, damn, I ain't heard that in a long time. You'll hear his pocket hood. Mm -hmm. And then of course, Alex knows exactly why you don't hear corner pocket no more. It's the whole story behind it. Because they when they write up on the walls, it look like Carver Park. So Makes that's, sense. It, it, there you go. Makes sense. Never thought about it. Exactly. Never. Thanks to Alex Alonzo, the gang expert. I know I now have that nugget in my brain that I can share with the rest of the world. Hmm. Mm hmm Hey, but that that it, it be in people's vocabularies, man. And then I I got some keyway partners and I just slipped up. But guess what? It wasn't on no jumper. So it ain't like, you know what I'm saying? It that's ain't what magnified it. That's what magnified it. That's the power of no jumper. That's the reason why so many people, even when they don't agree, agree with what so much goes on up there, they still utilize their opportunity to be there because the power of no jumper can magnify things. And that's just another example of something very small and petty being magnified. You know how many personalities they have over there that would have no relevance at all if they weren't being magnified on no jumper or clubhouse. I can name one for particular, but you know. I want somebody from 20s to, to please speak up and keep it real because I, I, I'm in jail with these type of dudes. I don't know if you're just trying to Run with the majority. You know, you familiar with trifling from 20s? Nah. He that guy over there. He oh, got... I think I heard that name. He, he rap? Yeah, he rap. He, yeah, I, yeah, I think yeah. he was on the interview when they was doing a little uh, Long Beach City movement. Okay. Yeah, he may have been. I got familiar with him in more recent years. Not only do he fuck with ODM Slim, he fuck with my homie Tiny Double F190. And he got, a, uh, he got one song called, I think, I don't know if it's called In the Hood or Crazy in the Hood. I just love that motherfucker. It's so hard. Hmm. And um, but when you actually go down in the wormhole of his music, he got so much range. He got some Kendrick sound and shit. But that that in the hood record is like some just regular like my laid back, just simple flow, just on some real G creative, just simple shit. It's hard. But his 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 parameter as an artist goes way beyond that. Shout out to Trifling man. Shout out to Tony Dub and Odium Slim. On the, so what he wanted them he wanted the uh the the twenties that be uh yeah I, I didn't want to harp on that so you uh, you go at, I know how you know how to run plates mm -hmm. run this plate you can run this place later yeah just yeah. run them plates okay. trifling is the truth no, I'm gonna check them out yeah. I'm gonna check them out mm -hmm. but no that 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 I mean, you know it's just our our shit get real uh like a, a sophisticated you know with our little politics is like you know what I'm saying indeed and, and, and outsiders really won't understand so they'd be in the comments somewhere just passing judgment that's why we gotta even... i be trying to tell us to stop tripping on trying to convince the people in the comments you're gonna go crazy hmm. you're not here having these conversations to convince the outside people that we're correct or right we're here to have conversations one with another to share our story and our principles and our interactions as well as we can as more as, as authentic as we can for those to see if you don't, it's like going to a motherfucking art museum and it's abstract art on, art on the wall. That shit might cost a bank. The nigga who did it don't give a fuck if you don't understand it or not. We here to discuss, to, 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 to deliver an authentic version of our experiences and our thoughts. If they don't get it, they don't get it. We not finna start trying to explain what we did or what we doing. Fuck them. I'm not here to try to make somebody understand why I don't need to see no paperwork to know if a nigga bad. Y'all can go by that <laughs> shit. I don't even like the, the the motherfucking word take the fade no more. The internet just stole that from us. Hmm. 
I when mean, once the internet get a hold of shit, it get cornified to me. I'm here having a conversation with you because I respect everything that I understand that you've been through and everything I see you doing. That's the only reason, homie. Okay, so you said comments. We was in the black box. We, it was the chat, and you know your moderators kept shooting a person, but I would like to <laughs> know who it was and what exactly they I said. Understand why? But but you know my second home is you know family swan and you know they 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 uh natural enemies down the street across the street around the corner east coast crib mm -hmm. now they said something but we didn't get to catch it because the moderator but shot it was something to the effect and uh, i don't want to put no extras on it because it was a nice chunky paragraph and i have a habit of reading the first word a few of the middle words and the last word to try to summarize a paragraph mm -hmm. you know? And all I know, he said something about Munchie B in there, and it looks suspect. Like, and I assume and insinuated and suggested that he was saying it looks suspect for you being from where you from, being in the black box with me, based on my affiliation. Yeah, I, I, the, I, the thing was, I didn't even want to, I didn't even care about the paragraph. I wanted to know the person's name. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, it's well documented that that's all you was concerned about. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Because, because. You kept trying to catch the name, but shout out to my Blue Wrench mob. They doing all oh, y'all. I don't even want yeah. to say no names because I miss everybody, but I got them, and I don't want to say this in a negative way, but I got them trained to zap anything that ain't going with the flow. Mm -hmm. Instead of getting back and forth and starting arguments with them. Yeah, I wasn't going to argue. But no, in the, in the chatter, to start debating right, with right, them right, and right, getting right. distracted. Right. Fuck that. I, the Blue Ridge mob deep. So they, they zap anything negative. So by the time I was uh, trying to tell him to let it live, I think he gave up. 